What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Punch Cha 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 Club. My name is Splatter Cat. Happy to have you here today. I think we did the treadmill last time. We're on our way up in the league. We're doing pretty well right now. We've played about 50 more days, and whereas we had to kind of redo stuff because I know how to play the game now, whereas the first four episodes, I didn't really know how to play the game. I was still messing around with stuff and kind of like learning. Now I know exactly what you need to do in order to win the game long term. And so I'm trying to stick to that right now. I'm trying to stick to it hard. Our stats are starting to get very, very good for an agility character. 2, 7, and 5. We're starting to get to the point where we're going to be a Hellraiser. Where people are going to start dreading fighting us because our stats are just so good right now. That we're turning into a tough fight for anybody, really. Even if you have a lot of strength or whatever. We're turning into that guy who just, you can't hit him. He's just all over the place. If you've ever seen that video, I think it was Muhammad Ali versus... Somebody, God, I don't remember. He throws like a three hit combo and Ali just goes shoop, shoop, shoop out of the way of all three and doesn't even put his guard up. And it's just like, oh shit. Like, that's the moment you know that you're outclassed. We have a league fight today. I'm gonna get up on the speed bag and I'm gonna try and get myself eight agility just in case we gotta fight Salvatore punches. We're starting to get back into his region of the map and he is the denial character. He's the one that makes you hurt deep down inside your stomach and also insults your mother. So, I need to make sure that my stats are on point if we're going to fight him. Don't really have much of a choice right there. We don't have a lot of skill points. We need 15 for our next upgrade. If we can win our fights today, that'll definitely give us enough. That'll put us up to 17 or 18 or 19. It'll also give us another 60 bucks to play around with, which will keep us training a little bit longer without having to work, which is actually my big concern right now. Who are we up against? Oh, we're up against Lenny. We should work our way through Lenny pretty easily. I think Lenny should be an easy knockout here. With our agility where it's at, I'm of the opinion that Lenny should have kind of a rough day. Yeah. He's going to try and pull that triple punch shit on us, and we're just going to stay out of the way, hopefully. Triple punch is... Man. Triple punch is expensive, and it hurts, but it drains stamina like no other. Like, it's all in for strength characters. Although, he's kind of a stamina character. He's kind of a weird character like that. What we need to do... Yeah, we need to land a couple of those right there. If you see that little debuff, that's when we're landing him with our leg kick. And it's lowering his stamina, and it's actually hurting him a little bit. It's making him regenerate slower for a couple seconds at a time. I think we are throwing that kick too frequently, though. We may want to cycle it out and put something else in so we can DPS now that we got his stamina drained out. Yeah, I'm thinking that might be... He's actually doing a pretty good job of not getting hit, all things considered. Let's go ahead and drop the leg kick, and then I'm going to put in the backhand high punch. Because I want to work some damage on this guy on this turn. Like, some people have expressed that it's kind of, like, boring watching the two fighters just fight with each other. I don't know. There is a strategy to this game. Like, I rotate my abilities almost every other round just to kind of accomplish the task that I want to accomplish. And as you can tell, this is a much more damaging round for us because I moved things around slightly. I felt like I wasn't hitting hard enough, so you put in a couple different abilities, you move things around, and then you try out the new strategy. I, I do the exact same thing with my strength character, too. I have different things that I run. If I'm going for actual, like, the biggest hits I can possibly land, I run a certain build. If I'm trying to be very, very accurate against somebody who has a dodge advantage, I'll run a very different build. And then I'll move things around a little bit based on the first round's performance in there. So I don't think things are totally outside your control in this game. Because there's definitely a difference between a character with intelligent skills and a character with bad skills. So let's sign up again. I do think we should do the Fight Club. But you just never know who you're going to get out. That's what makes me so nervous about it. On this one, we need to take active skill 2. Because whereas there are things we can take in here, actually, do not fall down 2 would be great too, because that means I could focus on training other things for a while, and it would constrict this to 8 so that it could never go down. Or I could go with Karate Kick, and then we could work our way towards Backlash, at which point we would then take the fourth skill point and then we're basically done with the game. We can just face roll our way to the end. That's probably what I'll do. Let's go with Karate Kick. Backlash is a major part of any agility build. I highly recommend it. It's solid. It's a good ability. It's a really, really good ability, especially against bruiser builds. Like people that come after you super hard and heavy, very useful against them. We're going to go in on this fight. We got Jurgen again. Although I think Jurgen's going to have trouble with us this time around. I'm going to go with Karate Kick, and we'll see how we go in our first round here. Uh, he's debuffing our agility, I think. I don't know if he's debuffing our agility or if he's debuffing our stamina. 
Man, stay on him. Get at it. Yeah. Woo. See, and that was one of those times where, like, the 10 hit combo favored me. It happens from time to time. It's a weird thing, though. Sometimes I don't understand how it works. This guy is regenerating at, like, the speed of a goddamn whirlwind. I think he's still going to lose. He's eating too many hits with his hands. That's the problem. Block right now is kind of nerfed. I think block needs a little bit of loving for it to actually be worth it. Even with upgrades, the blocks are kind of iffy right now. I'd be careful about running block in your build. I run a strength build, and I don't ever run block. And I've been perfectly successful all the way through the game. I think we should just about have this guy gassed, and then we'll take our $40 to go. You can put it in a bag for me if you could. In one of those little cup holders that holds the cups so they don't fall down in your car. My car doesn't have cup holders because it's an old kind of economy model, and so... You know, I'm a fighter for a living. We don't make a lot of money. We aren't driving Bugattis and Lambos and shit yet. We're not at that point. Even if I had that money, personally, I don't think I would ever own, like, a Lambo or a Bugatti. It just seems too extravagant for me. It's too flashy. It draws too much attention. Like, everything I know about growing up is that if you dress hella flashy, you're gonna get jumped. And so I'm just like, eh. I guess at the point you can afford Lambos and shit, you can afford to hire guards and whatnot, too. Like, bodyguards and shit that have, like, concealed carry licenses and things. But still... Uh, I don't think I need that kind of trouble in my life. Two more wins on the docket. We're doing good right now. I told you. You just had to stick with me. You had to keep the faith. I know that in the last couple episodes, there were some naysayers being like, your strategy is bunk and it's lame and kind of just, why are you doing this to yourself? I, I told you it would work. You just have to stick it out. There's going to be some pain. It's kind of like a growth spurt. There's going to be some pain at first, and then it's going to be worth it in the end. All right. So back to the gym we go. I'm going to start out with some multi-purpose training today. I would like to get this up to 9 or 10. Agility is by far the best scaling stat in the game. It is just an amazing stat. No matter what build you're running, agility has so many things tied into it that you can't really ignore it. Agility is vital for a strength build, it's vital for a stamina build, it's vital for an agility build. No matter what build you're doing, you're going to need agility. Otherwise, you're just not going to hit anything, and that's the truth of the matter. You're going to have way too much trouble actually putting knuckles on anybody until you have at least 10 agility. I, every build that I've ever run in the game had at least 10 agility in it because you can't hit anything otherwise. And I just end up getting frustrated because I lose fights due to misconduct, or miscontact. I said misconduct, but nope, haven't lost any fights based on that. Haven't diddled anybody yet. Next fight is up in a couple of days. Pretty soon our cage matches are going to get a lot worse. We're going to have to fight two guys back to back, but the reward almost quadruples. And so you get 150 bucks every time you win one of those. And that lasts for probably... Five or s probably for a couple weeks, actually. You can get 150 bucks every three days if you're good at it and your skill is already, you know, tuned in and ready to go. All right, let's get in here with some push-ups. I don't think we're going to keep that nine. I think we're going to lose it. Yeah, we're going to lose it big time. We're starting to get to the point with agility where we're starting to lose a ton of stats every single time we go in on it. It's just a thing you've got to get used to. As you get further into the game, it gets worse and worse and worse. I don't think I really want that three right there don't think I want it. I'm going to take the three because we don't have a fight today. And what's going to happen is it's going to roll over and we'll lose the three. Oh, he needs to eat. He also, he got to, got to take a break to flex. Hold on. 15 minute to flex. Everybody check this out. Four pizzas down. That'll make us feel a little bit more robust instead of busted. I will probably go in on the Wing Chun, which should be mostly recharged by now because we've been working out for like two days straight. This guy's a machine when he gets in the gym. I'll tell you that much, he's a machine. Just an absolute animal in the gym. And then what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to swap over to here and see if this can get this high enough to where we don't have to worry about losing it anymore. And then from there we'll jump on the treadmill for a little while. I may actually, just for safe measure, allow this to ride out as far as we can take it before we run out of points. Alright, so that's good. And then it's back on the treadmill. I love running. Running's one of my favorite things in the whole world. I used to hate running back before I started doing it like full time. Now I run five miles a day. Every single day. Rain, wind, shine, sleet, snow. Still do my five because I don't know, it grounds me. I'm not really sure how to describe it to people, but it's kind of like a weird zen mindset you get while you run. It's almost like a it's almost like a trance, really. I don't really I can't explain it other than that. It's like a trance where when I run I'm not really focusing on anything but just like the experience of running. It's called a runner, they call it the runner's trance or like a runner's high or something like that. Kind of an interesting thing. Happens to a lot of people though, so I know I'm not making it up. 
we need to get our fights in like right now. So we're number four. We're up against Salvatore Punches. We have the exact same stats that he has, but his loadout is better than ours. So this might be a little hit or miss. Salvatore Punches tends to be a speed block, like kind of a speed bump for everybody. He's a tough character to beat. I mean, I think if he would stop landing those giant combos, the problem here is that he's got the upgraded abilities. So the next version of the two kicks that we're running, he has them. That's how he's winning, is because he's hitting for twice as much damage as we are. Even though we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him pretty decently, he's hitting for twice as much damage, so... There's not going to be a lot we can do until we expand our skill set a little bit. Running into Salvatore Punches is a little unfortunate because it's basically an automatic loss. And that's the way it's been for every character I've ever leveled. Salvatore Punches is worse than the boss of the first league, so... He's just tough to deal with. Yeah. Ironically, Salvatore Punches has no punches. He only has kicks. That always weirds me out about him. That does leave us... Ooh, our health is a little bit bad. Let's go sleep for a bit and maybe eat some food. That'll help out with health a little bit. I'm gonna sleep for like half the day. That sucks because I needed that $20 too. God. You ever been in that situation where all you need is 20 bucks and you just can't get it? It sucks, right? Well, that's the situation our fighter's in right now. We may have to work for a bit. I'm thinking we might have hit the end of our... Might have hit the end of our training regimen. Let me get agility back up so we don't lose it, because it's at a point right now where it's going to drop off at the end of the day. And I'd like to protect it a little bit by putting it up a little bit higher. Alright. That'll help out. Next fight. Ooh. This guy's a little nastier. This guy's a little nastier. Okay. We could potentially lose this one. He's going to hit us really, really hard. He's got some nasty abilities. The only thing that's going to save us is maybe he doesn't hit us the whole time. But if he makes contact, we are definitely going to lose. We're doing pretty well so far. He's got a lot of stamina. But he's basically gassed out at this point. So he should be able to just chill and... Yeah, he's got a lot of stamina, so he's going to regenerate a lot at the end of each round. That's going to put us at a slight disadvantage. But his abilities are all very, very expensive. And so if we can just keep him on the deck... And just keep him from being able to strike. See, he's running into the strength fighter's problem right now. It's the strength fighter's quandary. When you hit people, they go down like instantly. But when you can't hit them, man, they just dance around you and make you look stupid. The whole time. We're going to back into a corner pretty good. I think we got this one. I mean, unless he pulls out just like a miraculous combo, which I don't think he has the energy to do, unfortunately. He's running default punch and default kick. Oh, that's the other reason. He's running really, really inefficient abilities. So my guess is that he's not a trained fighter. I don't know if that's supposed to be like Trevor from Grand Theft Auto or what. The game is recent in development, and given their penchant for putting in random references, cool. That 40 bucks will help a lot. Like, no joke. We need that 40 bucks very, very badly right now. We needed the 60 bucks, but 40 will do. I can make 40 work for a little while. I can always make a 40 work. I love 40s. 40s are amazing. There's a little bit more food. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to work. Lame. I'm gonna save the six dollars so I can take the bus to work. Health is a little bit bad, but we should be okay. Oh, we got signups today. My bad, almost missed our signup period. If we get punches a couple times in a row, that is going to negatively affect our fight strategy long term. I'm going to go in for 100 bucks right now because I think that'll keep us cruising. Since we've hit punches anyways and he's kind of a roadblock for new characters, I'll probably let that 9 fall off and not worry about it that much. If we could get a bunch of money in our pocket, I'm not going to cry and that'll actually... Maybe we should go in on the... Eh, I don't know if I want to go in on the weight bench just yet. We're going to fall short, aren't we? We're going to fall just barely short. That's cool. I'm going to lose some stats for a bit. We're still in a pretty strong position. Because we're going to fight tomorrow. And if it gives us punches again, we should be able to see what the matchup is, actually. Oh, we're up against Gordon. That's not quite so bad. 
So actually, we don't need to work on our stats anyways, because we're up against a scrub fighter, so we should be good. We're up against... I feel like a dick whenever I say stuff like that. I feel like I'm saying it to a real human being. I don't like that phrase. And yet, I use it all the time. I don't know. Take the bus, because we got money now. Moving on up in the world. And two more ticks. Two more ticks. One more, now that we got that one. Should get us to a position where we've got enough money. Where we can compete for a while without having to worry about anything else. Perfect. And so now, we're competitive again. Let's go ahead and do our fight. Gordon should be easy. We should just step over this guy at this point. Whereas, he was kind of a bad character for us to fight earlier on. He's not so bad anymore. He may put up a fight. He's one of those characters that's kind of a wild card due to the fact that he has really high agility. But, his agility is nowhere near as bad as like Salvatore Punches, for example. Salvatore Punches, his gear set along, I'm sorry, his skill set along with the ridiculous amount of uh, agility that he has just makes him kind of a nasty dude to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Gordon should gas himself out, at which point it's going to be choo-choo all aboard the destruction train. We're doing better in the stamina department than he is. And honestly, it's easy to feel like you're losing, but if somebody gasses out, 90-90. Stamina, I think, is one of the most important things in this game. It just sucks when you run out of it. It doesn't matter if you're an agility character or a strength character. When you run out, the fight's basically over for you. Stamina characters don't have to worry about it quite as much. Hey, congrats on taking third place in the Rookie League. You really make it look simple. Thanks. You uh, look a bit upset, Silver. What's going on? Tell you the truth, I have a bit of a problem with debts. I owe a great deal of money to the local Don. Money? Don? What the hell did you get yourself into? It's about fighting, not money. Yeah, I know, but I need the money so much. Maybe you could help me with this. Could you uh, take a nap during the third round? Nah, I'm trying to make a name for myself here. Maybe I could help out in some other way. Well, maybe there is a way out. You could go tell Mick. And tell him everything. Or, I'm sorry, you can go to Mick and tell him everything. I'm sure he can figure out something. You look like you're struggling, champ. What is it? Silver. He owes a lot of money to some gangster and he asked me for help. He wants me to throw a fight. He did that himself ages ago. He used to be a champ, you know. And he lost everything. Silver used to be a trainee of mine. When he stopped to pursue his dreams and left the league, he had to return the medallion. Your medallion. I took it after your father's death. You were too small to have its power, but in the right hands, it's able to do fantastic things. Nobody knows where it came from. But it helps to awaken some infinite power inside the person who wears it. Since ancient times, there have always been people who have served to protect it. Years went by. The people who protected the medallion might have changed. More than 20 years ago, your father and three of his friends swore to protect the medallion. I was one of them. We decided to call ourselves the Punch Club. We chose the red bottle cap as our secret sign. It was meant to be held by the Punch Club. It's a powerful artifact. I made the mistake of giving it to Silver, and it's your right to have it back. Artifact. This is weird. Guess I should go ask Silver to give it back, since it's mine to have. Damn it, Silver. Silver, the medallion you have. Where is it? Mick told me everything. I guess this had to happen someday. You see, I don't have it. I gave it to Don to cover the debts I told you about. You gave him a magical artifact? A gangster? What's wrong with you? I didn't know what he'd do with it. He said he'd kill me and my family. All right, calm down. I guess I should go visit the Don. I guess I should go and visit the Don then. Cool. We gotta sign up for the score league real fast. We got a scheduled fight today. Yep, let's take it. Ooh, this guy can be. This guy could be trouble. This is the guy that beat my ass when I was 10, 10, and six. He, he still beat my ass. His stats can be a little bit. I don't know. He gets lucky sometimes, and he dodges a lot. And then you don't dodge a lot, and then all of a sudden it's fight over for you. However, he's only got a three agility, so he shouldn't be able to lay hands on me. If he does hit me, it's going to hurt like a bitch, but I think he shouldn't be... Oh, he's almost gassed out, and it's only the first round. You're about to have problems, punk. So 
Should have spent less time dyeing your hair to match your shirt and more time in the dojo. In there with Master Splinter, learning to fight. All about style. Oh, alright, alright, I'll stop talking shit, hold on. At 21, though. At 21, though. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. We're, we're definitely winning the agility race, but with how hard he hits, it's like one of those terrifying prospects to get in there and knock him out. Because right now, he could even up the entire fight exactly by hitting me once. And that's something that is not a fun fact to deal with. We're not landing hits either. He's staying out of the way despite our really, really high accuracy. Come on, keep working him. Don't let him up. There it is. There it is. Another 40 bucks. $250 in our pocket. Enough to get a weight bench. Perhaps. We want backlash at this point. Backlash, we're dodging a lot. And so I'm thinking with him right there, we would have been dealing back four or five damage every single time we dodged him. So it's an important thing to have. Let's go to the cafe. Talk to the Don, which is Marlon Brando, as usual. Hey, Silver sent me. He said you own something that I need. Really? Well, then, I do have that thing, but I've got plans of my own for it. Could I offer you something in exchange? Let me think about it. I see you are a fighter. There will be a big fight soon, and you could participate. If I win, you'll give me the medallion? Of course. The only thing is, you need to have a professional card to attend. But I don't have it yet. Well, that's too bad, son. Go ahead. Be sure to return when you get that card. I... We could work, and we could have a lot of money right now if we wanted to. But I think I'm going to stick to the basics for right now. Refill the fridge first. Get the necessities. And then when we have extra money laying around, then we'll deal with all that other good stuff. Energy drinks are expensive because they're priced like we're at Disneyland. So, unfortunately... I'm not going to be able to do much about that. I'd love to start running energy drinks right now, but it hasn't been an option. We'll take two frozen pizzas right there. And it's back to the gym to train. Things to get done. Things to get done. People to mash. Fights to win. Wing Chun's to not hit and just, like, move around. Do you actually karate chop and, like, punch the Wing Chun to make your fist stronger? Is that what it's for? I can't really tell what he's doing right now. It seems like you have to strike around the different poles for agility, but then you're also hardening your knuckles or something like that. I don't know. Hardening your knuckles is pretty important if you need to be a fighter. You gotta, you gotta bust them up a little bit, punch some walls, punch some hard surfaces. I know guys that do Muay Thai that are constantly like messing up their shins on purpose so that they'll heal harder, messing up their knuckles and their elbows on purpose so that they'll heal harder. It's actually a thing that I think some people overlook about fight training. You don't want to snap your knuckles on anybody's head, mess up those metacarpals or those carpals, then you'd be out of a fight for a while. You won't be working, that's for certain. You'll be shirking. Sleeping days away. Hopefully we can train up enough right here to get our nine back. That work streak that we had to do was unfortunate, but if we can just keep winning from here on in, I think we'll be all right. Agility is a little bit sketchier to win with consistently, though. With some of the... We're, gonna, we're up against it right now. I don't think we'll be able to win the back-to-back -back fights in the ring with, like, the Ultimate Fighters. They do tend to be a little bit easier because the game knows you're fighting, like, three guys at once or two guys at once. But it's still a little bit worrisome. I worry every time I go into one of those fights. I just don't want to lose my progress, essentially. And it's very easy to do in this game. Let's get a little bit of stamina going real fast, because I'm worried that's going to fall off when I go take nap time now. All right, I think we're in a good spot. I'm going to eat some food. Get four of those in me, and maybe like one of those. We should be all right. And then we'll sleep it off till tomorrow. I think tomorrow's going to be our fight day. For right now, we're out of time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for the next episode of Punch Club. I look forward to seeing you in future episodes. Having a blast with the game. I definitely like it a lot. I will see you there. How you do, everybody?